In this episode, I'm gonna show you three apps worms that you need in your box and how to fish them. What is up guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Reese, and I make fly fishing videos and tutorials that will help you catch more fish. So if you are a returning subscriber, it's great to see your lovely face again. If you are new here and you'd like to learn more, please press that red subscribe button and smash that bell so that you don't miss out on future videos. Okay, so today we're talking about apps worms. They are arguably one of the most deadly flies that have ever been invented for still water trout. So let's talk a little bit about the background to this fly. This fly was created by a very successful competition angler by the name of Peter Appleby donkeys of years ago when he fished for the Moran fly fishers. It's been called the Northern Worm, it's been called the Apps Worm, it's been called a Flexi Worm. They're all the same thing. It's basically just a span flex worm. You've got different sorts, you've got beaded, you've got non-beaded, you've got eight leggers, six leggers, four leggers, two leggers, and there's a lot of different colors. But there are only three colors I think you really need to get through a whole season. The primary colors of red, olive, and amber. Okay, so the first method we're looking at is fishing apps slowly. For me, this means fishing them on a floating line with a 12 to 18 foot, seven pound fluorocarbon leader. And all I'm gonna do is chuck out a whole line and fish it in like I'm fishing buzzers. So that means a very slow and steady figure of eight. Now my choice in that floater rarely deviates from a brandlin. A brandlin is a red version of the apps worm. Now I've got two different versions myself. I've got as close as I can get to the original, which is just a very claret colored brandlin on a straight hook. The aim of that app is to be a bit more subtle. And then I've got one which is slightly brighter, slightly bigger, and it's tied on a grub hook. When I'm fishing this slowly, this one will give a slightly bigger kick when I'm just inching it back very slowly through the water column. And when you're fishing slow, you've got to remember you really are fishing no more than the top four or five foot of water when you're fishing a floater. You can, on a very windy day, bring it down to a sink tip. So that's something like an airflow slow or fast tip, for example. And that will just fish these slightly deeper in the water column. And what you'll find is, as you're fishing those, like buzzers, the takes will be as savage as a buzzer. And sometimes the fish will have taken the leg, and when you try and strike into the fish, there's nothing there. And then there are other times when the fish will just engulf the fly entirely, and when you strike in, it ain't coming off. And that brings me nicely onto method number two, bung. So the aim with this, obviously, is to try and fish this apps worm as static as possible. Now we've all been there where nothing fast or slow is working, and sometimes the only way you're gonna get a bite is if you switch to static. So that is where the bung comes in handy. Now we've obviously spoken about the bung before, but just to quickly run through it, I'm gonna be fishing a Cortland floater, 10 foot of seven pound fluorocarbon leader, and then I'm just gonna put my adjustable bung at wherever I think it should be based on where the fish are at the time. In terms of colors, you can open this up a little bit now. So my confidence with fishing in a bung with apps worms tends to revolve around either a red brandling color or an amber yellow color. So I've got one here which is non-beaded and then I've got one here which has a bead. This version with a bead is devastatingly effective, particularly on fresh stocky fish. I think because it's so bright, it's so garish, the fish are either gonna be on this straight away or they're not gonna look at it at all. I've got both four leggers here and I've got a six legger here. Both work exceedingly well on their day. It's just a case of finding out what the fish are going to react to at your fishery. And then finally, we're gonna throw all that out the window and go on to what is arguably one of my favorite and the most exciting ways of fishing an apps worm. And that is as fast as possible. So in terms of colors, you're looking at the whole spectrum now. Olive being number one, amber being number two, and then brandling being number three. 
Now the setup is very simple, I'm fishing a Vision Still a Maniac Clear Intermediate or an Airflow Six Cent Slow Intermediate and all I'm going to do is chuck it all the way out I normally fish with two worms, usually meaning that the bright fly is on the top dropper, which is normally the amber, and then the point fly will either be a brandlin or an olive. And all I'm going to do is cast it straight out and pull it as fast as I can. So that could be either long steady strips, it could be short plucky strips, or a roly poly. There you go, that's proof of the pudding. So all we were doing there was fishing the olive worm set that I just showed you and retrieving it back at a steady pace. And it resulted in this fish. And there you go, so you just saw a prime example of why it pays to fish these worms as quickly as possible. That fish there now it took while I was reeling the flies in. So if you were to replicate that on a retrieve, it would be to pull it as fast as possible with the roly-poly. Now what you'll find when you're fishing your worms like this is that you'll often get a bubble wave behind the fly as the fish is chasing it in. Do not stop that retrieve or change it. The fish will follow that fly all the way up the rod tip and it's really important that at that point that you hang your flies for as long as possible. If you look back at the sport fish video we did last year, nowhere is it more evident that that method works. So that is how I fish my worms. Don't overcomplicate it, keep it simple and just fish with confidence. So that is everything for this video. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. My name is Reese. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.